Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for game number seven. Before we go out to the stadium, we got a couple of things to discuss. Of course, we got to wrap up last week. Now, last week, we took on the University of Auburn after losing to Notre Dame. Now, for the first time in history, we lost to a team and we were still ranked. Yes, we were still ranked. We were ranked number 12 going into that ball game. Auburn, they were ranked number eight in that ball game, and we put an absolute beat down on the Auburn Tigers. That's what we do here at SAU. We just beat teams that are supposed to be good, and we just show the whole nation that they suck. Now, um... This week, we take on number 10, Tennessee. Again, we have to travel to Tennessee. It's never easy playing there. They, it's the, their stadium sits a hundred, or seats excuse me, 100,000 screaming and going crazy fans. And we're going to have to deal with that atmosphere with our sophomore quarterback, Adrian Smith. Hopefully, he's up for the task. He's only lost one college football game in his whole career. And, of course, that was the Notre Dame game in South Bend. But, anyways, one thing that we do have to discuss, this will be the last game for offensive coordinator Jim Johnson. That's right, Jim Johnson, he has decided to go to the NFL. He just, he just left us. He's not going to be our offensive coordinator anymore after this game. So what does that mean? That means that the direct snap might be taking a hit because we know that the head coach of SAU, he likes more of a pro-style offense, two tight ends, a fullback, stuff like that. So for the USC game, there might be a major shakeup because this will be the last game for offensive coordinator Jim Johnson. Again, he is going pro to coach Vince Young and hopefully get him going in the right direction in Tennessee. So that sucks for us. This is the last game as offensive corners. This is the last time y'all going to see the direct snap. But let's get into the action, and I'll see y'all later. So here we go, y'all. It's game time. Tennessee, they're ready to go. We're ready to go. This will be the last time that y'all see the direct snap. Um, I'm doing this one because the competition committee is like, these games are getting out of hand. Okay, there's nothing I can do. This, I'm playing on the Heisman difficulty. That, 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 that's the highest it goes. But I feel like the direct snap is a little bit OP. You know what I mean? Here we go again with the direct snap. And right off the bat, whoop, makes the man miss. Headed to the end zone. You're not going to catch Richard Thompson. He's gone. He fast like a NASCAR. Touchdown, SAU Bulls. And just like that, it's 7 nothing. So, again, we will be going to a more, a more pro-style offense next week versus number one, USC. So, it might not be the right time to change the offensive of, of philosophy, but I do not want these games to get out of hand because I do plan on doing this for a lot more seasons, a lot more years, and it's going to be hard for me to keep that up if we continue to blow out teams that are supposed to be good. The reason why I picked the independent conference is so we can customize the whole schedule. I want to play USC. I want to play Michigan. I want to play Tennessee. I want to play Florida. I want to play all these good teams. But if we're blowing these guys out, it just won't be fun. And the series is going to eventually come to an end. So Jim Johnson, the offensive coordinator, he is gone. And right here, Adrian Smith, he is hurt. Oh, no. He injured his ankle and is actually his Achilles. So bring in Tobert. Y'all remember Tobert? That's right. He's still here. Tobert dropping back the pass. Going to connect the dots to a call. And that's enough to move those chains. First down, Bulls. First and go from the 40-yard line to give it to Hargrove. Hargrove makes a tackle. He's going to fall forward after getting brought down to the 10-yard gain. That's going to be enough to move the chains. Now it's second and 12. Taking the shot deep to the end zone. And Chad Johnson brings it in. Flat out beast, man. He is the best. Tied in. In the country no doubt about it and it's going to be sad to see him go pro but we already know that that's going to happen ridgeway he gets the catch over the middle breaks a tackle picks up the first down that's going to be another first down y'all can't spell balls look at y'all look come on it's not hard godly first down 10 going over the middle gonna find cook and cook he's cooking with the catch for a gain of seven drop by the passes murphy going to the flat to kill patrick makes a man not even make a man miss he just ran that dude flat over my goodness Murphy going to the air again, going to find Crowder, and he's going to pick up a first down, and now Tennessee is moving this football with ease versus the SAU defense. They go to the ground game, that's Matt Poland, and Poland about to take that thing to the crib. No, he gets chopped down at about the two-yard line, and that's going to be first and go from the two. They give it to Matt again, who gets up field, and he's going to pick up a touchdown. So, touchdown on the board for the Tennessee Volunteers is 14 to 7. We give the ball to Richie Thompson. Not that guy, Richie Thompson. He's getting the bulk of the carries right now. Four carries over 100 yards. 
We give it to the fullback Robinson, but he does not pick up the first down. And he has some words for the defensive lineman, but Robinson, he shuts you down. So you really can't say nothing, bro. So on fourth and inch, we decide to punt. They're gonna find Cook over there. Breaks a tackle. Finally gets brought down by Wright, but not until he picks up a fresh set of downs for the Tennessee Volunteers from the 40 yard line. They give it to the from the 45 yard line. Excuse me. They give it to the fullback Kilpatrick. He's gonna pick up a gain of seven. Our formation two tight ends set. They give it right back to the big fullback, and maybe we'll see that next week versus USC from our offense with the new offensive scheme. Now Poland, he gets the carry again, and he hurls the man, and then he's gonna pick up a gain of about eight. Balls placed at 36, showing our formation play action pass. Going to there, has a man deep, and that's gonna be a touchdown for the Tennessee Volunteers. The free safety, Vincent, got sucked into the play fake, and that left the tied end wide open, and that was an easy touchdown pass for Tennessee, and that's gonna tie this ball game up at 14 off. So first then, 10, Tober, he drops back the pass, takes a shot deep down left, selling the mark, Cole, he makes the catch over two defenders, what else is new, that's our bread and butter here at SA, you throw it up and let your receivers go make a play, show off their talents to the NFL scouts, and of course that's going to result in a big time play in the first and 10, on first and 10, we give the ball to Richie Thompson from the 22 yard line, picks up again to 14, move those chains, 5 carries for a buck 13, Richie Thompson, give him some more yards as he gets down to the 1 yard line, Richie Thompson having so a fantastic ball game. Tolbert gonna drop back the pass. He's gonna find Chad Johnson for his second touchdown pass of the day. And that's Chad's second touchdown reception of the day. So 21 to 14 is now the score. Tennessee takes over from the own 20. Y'all are dropping back the pass. Gonna squeeze that one in two defenders to the halfback who leaked out of the backfield. Went upfield and makes a fantastic catch in between two defenders. One to 43 is first and 10. Going to throw the football and that's gonna be intercepted by James. This dude got some hands, man. Every single game it seems like he is getting an INT. But you know that this is linebacker you. That's what we do, man. Our linebackers are flat out studs. First and 10, single back set. We give the ball to Richie Thompson who puts it on the turf. Smith is there. He's going inside the 30, going inside the 20, 10, 5. High step in his way. Touchdown. Tennessee Volunteers. Not only do we give up a scoop and score, but Cornelius McDonald's, he's hurt. He McDonald, excuse me, he is hurt, but don't worry, he will come back. So second and four from the 40-yard line. Hard goes the tailback, play fake to him, taking the shot deep to Ross, who has a step on his man. He makes the catch and gets brought down at the one-yard line. Ross, he is stepping up his junior season. He's getting a lot of big-time catches. Hopefully, he doesn't try to escape and go pro. I believe he needs another year of college football. But if he does stay, he will be probably one of the feature receivers. The feature receiver. I like him a little bit more than I like Cole, just to be honest. But anyways, Tolbert dropping back the pass. Going to throw this one over to the right side against Tip and pick back the back turnovers by this offense. And now Tennessee's going to take back over. The ball game is all tied up at 21 all. And now they have a chance to add to the lead or actually take the lead for the first time today. Poland, he gets the carry. He's going to get up field five carries, 49 yards for him, plus a TD. Second and three, they do a play fake. Murphy rolling on out. Murphy going to stop, going to pop. Has a man, that's Fernandez, who makes the catch. Gets brought down at about the 23-yard line. Sounds first, then Tim Poland, he gets the carry. He's going to try to make a man miss. He does so, but then he gets brought down by James, but not until he picks up a gain of five. On the 28, Murphy going to drop back the pass down to QB draw, and he just got demolished by John Key, and Key is Johnny on the spies. He recovers the fumble also, and now he has a chance to take the lead right back and get the ball to Hargrove. Hargrove weave through traffic. Hargrove inside the 10. Hargrove inside the five. Touchdown, SAU. And just like that, we got the lead right back. No direct snap needed on that one as Hargrove took that thing from the I formation right up that gut and gas Tennessee for another touchdown. So now it's 28 to 21. Murphy dropping back the pass out of the gun. Throws it to the left side. That's going to be intercepted by John K. John K up to the 10. Down inside the 5. Touchdown. SAU Bulls. But there's a flag on the play if it's against Tennessee. SAU will decline it and will go up 14. But it is a clip against the San Antonio Bulls. That's going to push the ball back to the 42-yard line. Direct snap to Richie Thompson. Richie Thompson in, the, in some traffic. There's a nice spin move to get out of there, and he's going to pick up a gain of eight. Now it's third and two from the 34-yard line. Shotgun set. Tolbert has it. He's going to throw this one over to the left side. It's going to be caught by Chad Johnson. Makes the catch, and he's going to get brought down, but not until he picks up a fresh set of downs. 
move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now Seth Bright, he's in the game. And the red shirt freshman makes a big time carry. Gain of 10 and another first down from the 18. Tober, he's rolling out. Tober hangs on to the ball just a little bit too long. And he goes down on the play. That's going to be a loss of eight. Taking the shot deep. And that's going to be caught by Ross. Ryan Ross with another touchdown here today. A big time touchdown at that as the half is coming to an end. Tober threw an absolute strike over the defender and right into the hands of Ross. So that's going to do it for the, for the first half of play. Number 8, San Antonio is up 35-21 to 21 over number 10, Tennessee. Design QB run as Murphy. He's going to take it from the shotgun, set through a QB draw, and picks up a gain of 7 from the 18. They go to Poland. He's going to get bottled up by the SAU defense and goes nowhere. Now it's going to be third in, to a one-yard gain. They give it right back to the halfback, and he's going to find some running room. He's going to get brought down by Latimer, but he has enough for a first down for Tennessee. Taking the shot deep is Murphy, and that's going to be batted away by Butler. Excellent play by the cornerback. And that's going to set up second and 10 for the 25-yard line play action pass. They're going to go to the flat to kill Patrick. The big fullback gets brought down by two SAU defenders. But now he picks up a gain of seven. Now they can go with a toss play, but Bonner is there to shut it down. And now SAU takes over third and 12 from the own 17-yard line. Shotgun set for Tober. Tober with time. Takes a shot. Deep pass. Chad, who makes the catch of double coverage, finally gets brought down at about the 30-yard line. Excellent pass play by Tober. Chad goes up top over two Tennessee Volunteer defenders. And that's going to set a first and 10 for the 30. They give it to Hargrove. Makes a man miss and picks up the first down. Six carries for 80 yards plus a touchdown. Richie Thompson, he gets the direct snap. And he's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, SAU. And just like that, this lead has jumped up to 21. So 42 to 21 is now the score. Tennessee takes over from the own 21. Y'all kill Patrick with a nice spin move. And this fullback looks like he could play some halfback at the next level. A nice carry right there. Gonna set up first down. Murphy looking. Murphy throwing this one. That's gonna be caught by Cook. Vincent, the free safety, tried to get his hands on it, but he failed to do so. And that's gonna set up third and five from the 40-yard line. They do a draw play to Poland, but he goes nowhere. Fourth and four to Tennessee. Volunteers offense stays on the field. Play action pass, and that pass is bad away by Vincent. Nice range right there by the free safety. And now it's third down for the SAU Bulls. Drop back the pass is Toba. He's rolling out. He's going to cut back to the left. Nothing going over there. Throws back across the body. It's going to be caught by Cole. Incredible play right there by Tolbert. And that's going to set up second and ten. To give us Richie Thompson. Richie Thompson, whoop, makes the man miss. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown. S-A-U. Incredible run right there. Going to make it a 28-point ball game now. 49 to 21 is the score. An excellent run right there by Richie Thompson. And that might put the game away for good. They try, I don't know what type of play call that was, but I know Bonner's gonna get credit for the tackle for loss. Gonna set up second and 11 after the one yard loss for the 26 yard direct snap to Poland. He's gonna get brought down by Vincent. Nice run right there. Gonna make it third and short. Third and three now. Murphy looking. Murphy gonna take a shot to the uh, to the sideline. That's gonna be caught by the fullback on third down for a fresh set of downs. Now they're gonna go to the out route again. This time it's Crowder, and he's gonna pick up another first down. And now SAU defense is on its heels, trying to stop this Tennessee Volunteers offense. Has to take a shot deep. Excellent play right there by Schultz, saying get that thing up out of here. Now Murphy under pressure throws it off his back foot, and that pass is dropped by Fernandez. Now it's fourth and 11. Murphy to the outside. He's going to find Cook. Cook makes the catch. Turns this one upfield but fumbles the football. It's going to be recovered by Schultz. Schultz up to the 10. Up to the 15. And finally gets brought down at about the 16 yard line. Right when he thought Tennessee might be able to climb their way back into this ball game. Cook with an excellent catch but he puts the football on the turf and now Tolbert gets sacked and we have to get the ball right back to Tennessee. Murphy going over to the right side. Going to find Fernandez and he's going to make a nice catch for a couple on that game. Now they're going to get the ball to Poland. Poland, he cuts up field, picks up the first down, takes a vicious hit, but he has enough to move the chains. Now Murphy dropping, Murphy throwing, Murphy going to find his tight end, and he has running room as he gets inside the 10, gets brought down at the 9-yard line. First and goal from the 9. Murphy going to the left side, he's going to find his halfback, and we're going to bring him down. That's James on the takedown. They do a play-action pass going back to the flat. This time kill Patrick, and he gets brought down by Butler. The cornerback comes up to tackle the big fullback. Now play action pass one more time. Going back to the flat and kill Patrick. The big fullback gets into the end zone. 
touchdown, Tennessee. Now they're going to try the onside kick, and that's going to roll out of bounds. All SAU now has to do is just run out the clock, and this one is over. A 21-point win for the SAU Bulls, taking down the number 10 Tennessee Volunteers. 49-28 to 28 is your final in this one. An excellent game by our defense. Really didn't give up any big plays. Whenever Tennessee did score, they had to work for it. They had to march their way slowly and methodically down the field to get anything done. You see the numbers by Murphy. Not a bad day. Poland, he had eight. He had 80 yards on 16 carries, but the main man for me is Tolbert. He came in off of the bench showing that he is a veteran on the team. He was able to uh, withstand some adversity, was able to make some plays for us, and of course was able to get us that victory. Now, of course, our running game is our bread and butter. We were able to use the eye formation a lot more knowing that the, knowing that the direct snap is going away. But I'm, I'm worried about is this the right time to change offensive philosophy. Our next game is versus number one, USC, down in Los Angeles. So hopefully the eye formation, the more of a pro-style offense will work versus them. Hopefully we can get that win and maybe we can move to the number one team in the country if we do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. Again, SAU will be taking on USC next. And I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.